Over the past few weeks, we have seen plenty of pictures of our night sky from our weather watchers out there. Tonight, meteorologist Corey Smith highlights some of what you've seen, as well as what to look forward to in March. We've made it to a new month, which means it's time to take a look at the night sky across the Midlands. Over the past few weeks, we've received almost a dozen images from some of our nighttime weather watchers of some really cool things going on in our evening sky. So let's take a look. Starting off with the moon, we got some great close-ups, including one from John, which shows Jupiter nearby. Speaking of Jupiter, it and Venus have been getting closer together in our evening sky, and we got plenty of pictures, including these from Alex and Don. Showcasing more of these images, you can see Eric and Donald also getting some pictures of these planets. Jupiter and Venus are heading towards conjunction this Wednesday, but with cloudy weather possible, Tuesday night will be a great viewing opportunity. Just look west right after sunset. Next week, we will be able to view the full moon for the month named the Worm Moon. It is given this name for the earthworms that begin to emerge with the warmer weather this time of the year. While there isn't much past the first week of the month, March is a great month for viewing constellations like Orion, which are easily viewable in the early night hours. If you have a telescope, you can even take a look at the Orion Nebula, which is a giant cloud of gas and dust where stars are born. During the month of March, we are also quickly gaining sunlight, but we also see daylight saving time begin during the second week of the month. That means any night sky viewing will be pushed back as our sunsets go from 6.20 p.m. to 7.44 p.m. by the end of the month. If you get any photos, videos, or have any questions or comments, you can send those in to us on social media. And if you want to know the latest nighttime weather conditions, you can always see that in our article online. From the studio, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith. The spring equinox, which occurs next month, is also the beginning of our days becoming longer than our nights. Corey says even with those shorter nights, though, there is plenty to view over the coming months. Yep.